Hello and welcome to our seven-day series called A New Year, A Better Me. And this is day five. Our topic today is about money. You know, every time I start one of these days to prepare for you, I go, oh, Yeah, that's a tough topic. (laughs) Well, here's the point. Our seven days are really trying to pick hot buttons in our life to then switch our focus to our Heavenly Father so we can live a more joyful life, a more fulfilling life, and the right life, the the life that He's called us to live, right? Okay, so today talking about money. Well, I've picked out two scriptures, and you may think I'm going to be talking to you about tithing. To be real honest, that is between you and God. These scriptures, I'm going kind of a different approach using them. So let's let's take a look and then you can tell what I'm doing. Leviticus 27 verse 30 says, A tenth of the produce of the land, whether grain or fruit, is the Lord's and is holy. Okay, and then the second scripture, Proverbs 3 verse 9, it says, Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. Okay, both of these you can see are really kind of about tithing, right? But what else are they talking about? This is the part I'd like to focus on. In both scriptures, it's talking about the first being God's. Honoring God first before we start thinking about our needs. What do you think about that? How many of us have been in a time in our life where we had $20 in our purse and that $20 had to go for food, gas, and diapers? Those are tough situations in our life, right? Well, in those situations, I believe we're first to say, okay, Lord, this is all I have. What do you want me to do with this? How can I honor you? And you know what? I am a testimony here. When I have done that, God is faithful. My needs have always been met. See, as human beings, we have a tendency to only trust in what we see. So if we have $20, we know that, okay, I can trust that I can get this, this, and this in that $20. But where it comes to faith is we have to trust in what we cannot see. And that's the tough part. Because we don't have an idea, a clue where God is going to bring that money in or bring that solution in. So it's easier just to focus on that $20 and say, okay, I got this. But he's saying, no, give me your first, give me your, give me your best. And I will give you the best. I will provide you time and time again. God has met our needs, but I tell you what, it's really, really tough because our minds go to the worst case scenario. Our power is going to be shut off. We're going to get stuck and not have enough gas. God provides a solution. So today's series is really about putting everything you have, your bills, whatever it is, take a look at them and go, okay, God, this is what I have. What can I do to honor you first? And all those bills on your table, they will be taken care of the right way. Well, I hope this has been a blessing to you. And remember to always be a blessing to others. My final words are, this is a true test of faith. Trust him. He's got your back. He truly wants the best for you. Have a wonderful day. And I look forward to talking to you tomorrow on day six.